Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. A food influencer has been traveling across North Texas reviewing restaurants, some already popular and some just breaking out. And so that included a rave review for a small ghost kitchen. It's called Halal Fusion. The owner emailed TikTok food reviewer Keith Lee, emailed him personally to reach out. Other notable stops on Lee's North Texas tour included two barbecue joints and a pizza place as well. Fox 4's Amelia Jones on the food tour tonight, checking it out. What can you tell us? A really hard job, Heather. We all know that social media can have good or bad effects, but the Keith Lee effect, it's a different level. Whether the food review is good or bad, it's putting local DFW restaurants on the map. With more than 15 million followers, a restaurant review from Keith Lee can be a big deal. Lee landed in North Texas for a food tour, and there was a lot of anticipation about which restaurants he'd choose. So I used good. to live down the street, and I didn't know these places right here. Rashima Williams had to try Hollow Fusion after Lee gave it a rave review on Monday. Apparently, a lot of people wanted to try it out. She waited hours to get her order. Oh yeah, he definitely crashed this thing. Like the owner, Ahmed Siaji, saw Lee was coming in town. So he emailed Lee asking for him to come and try his Asian fusion creations. I can't even explain. Like, it just, you know, caught me by surprise. Once the review was posted to TikTok, orders started flooding in. I'll say a few hundred. It's, it's been wild. Siaji is typically by himself at the ghost kitchen, but he had to hire two people to help fill all the orders. And the food? Three hours. I was the first one in line. Is worth the wait. I'm sorry, it's amazing. Lee posted that he's trying out restaurants that fit into three categories. Places with good food and good customer service, but may not be well known. Popular local spots voted on by locals and restaurants with diverse backgrounds. Hutchins Barbecue, with locations across the Metroplex, was a top locals vote. Lee visited the McKinney location on Monday. Although this one was on his popular list, I can't believe I lived literally like seven minutes down the street and I've never been here. So he's definitely putting things on the map. Tarina Alfor is a big Keith Lee fan and plans to try every spot he recommends. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Black History Month. Can you believe it's already the 1st of February? January just flew by. We're already a full two months into 2024. January, not February. It's crazy. So once again, our good friend Keith Lee is trending all over Twitter, and this is what's going down. So as you guys just watched in the news clip, Keith Lee is in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and he's out there trying all types of tasty treats, and he's going to different restaurants. And so this young man took to social media to beg Keith Lee to come to his mama's food truck, and then he also asked some of his friends to come out and help. And Keith Lee obliged. He ended up showing up, and he asked actually gave the food a good review y'all go ahead and check this out Keith Lee is officially in Dallas so I asked him for help and come to visit my mom's food truck to hopefully turn it around she is an award-winning pastry chef she is a culinary chef she has two degrees we are just from Milwaukee and here in Dallas it's kind of hard with the marketing because we don't know our way even around yet well we here I got it let's try it and ready one to ten he spent eighty dollars and eleven cents we are in North Dallas Texas we in a hood I'm not gonna say it no other way we in a hood. They outside cutting hair, doing braids, waiting on us. They both on live at the same time, him and his sister. But they outside ready, so we had to be double O this whole time. I'm talking about double O seven agents. It's a party out here. The custom service, my family said, was pretty good. And it was on live the whole time, so we can kind of see it. Only thing is, the only person cooking is the mama. So if you do come, please be patient. It's only one person there cooking. But it's a lot of people, so she got the option to have a lot of hands. I'm going to show you everything I got, and we're going to try it and ready with the team. A pulled pork sandwich, fried ribs with french fries, jerk chicken tacos with beans and rice, and two orders of banana pudding. Is this $80 worth of food? In my opinion, no. But considering the fact that it's been slow and she has an overhead, the fact that this is a food truck and everything is made to order, I understand. We sit in the car. It's Dallas weather. It's bipolar. It was freezing cold when we got here. It's hot right now. Can't be nothing less than 80 some degrees. We're going to start with the pulled pork sandwich. It's loaded. Only thing when you load a sandwich as much is the bottom bun does get soggy. This bottom bun already soggy. 
my hands grease. It's just really good seasoned pulled pork with pickles and barbecue sauce. I wish the bun was a little more high quality. You can tell these just regular buns. I like a sweet bun on this, we'll take this over the top. But as it is, I'm not mad at that. It's nothing crazy. 7.8 out of 10. That's pretty high for fresh. a sandwich to come out. It's real fresh. These are deep fried ribs. And when they say deep fried, boy, <laughs> I can see, but they also put sauce on it. But you can see past the sauce. This is chicken fried. Hey, you can see it better on this one. That's a chicken fried rib. I gotta wipe some of the sauce off. The sauce is good, but I don't think it's a homemade sauce. But this rib itself don't even need the sauce, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she got these ribs yeah. from. Look how much meat is on that rib. In my opinion, I would take a lot of the sauce off because they don't need it. The rib by itself is very flavorful. It's crispy. It's meaty. The ribs with the sauce as is, I'm going to go with 7 out of 10. But I feel like if she take this sauce off, this can be an 8.5. Or even put the sauce on the side. Where you put the sauce it. on for sure. Uh. Put the sauce on the side. It's too seasoned. It don't need no rib. It don't need no sauce. All that crust, man, you better let that crust speak for itself. You make a beautiful crust like that and then cover it with sauce. Just how it looks. I feel like this is about to be the highlight. These are the jerk tacos. There's some jalapenos. There's some pico de gallo. It looks like some onions, cheese. Mm -hmm. I did. That sauce might be homemade. That sauce is good. It's just a chicken taco. It's a great chicken taco, though. It's seasoned. That sauce is spicy. 8.7 out of 10. Uh, and rice by my hand. Just rice. Them the beans. <laughs> what you it? 8.7. I'm going down. Last but not least, the banana pudding. Now, I'm very picky on sweets. I've said it. I've always said it. Again, take my opinion on sweets with a grain of salt. cool it's not the greatest banana pudding i've ever had but it's better than most banana puddings i've had before not too sweet mm -mm. take it back it is a little sweet i wouldn't eat this whole thing but for me as somebody who's not really a sweet person i get a solid 7.3 out of 10 but i like sweet i go 8.6 one of the main things i will say in my opinion the marketing does need a lot of help there's no menu on the brother's page on the sister's page or the mom's page I feel like a menu with prices should definitely be top priority. That and a website change, in my opinion. I appreciate the invite. And mama, you might need some more hands back there. No promises, it might get a little crazy. Before we left, we went and had a conversation with the mom and we thanked everybody for having us. Me and the mama prayed together and we left with $4,000 tip behind. God, it's amazing. I appreciate y'all for having us. I see y'all giving out haircuts and doing braids. So we want to leave $1,000 to the barber so we can cut everybody here for free. We want to leave you $1,000. And after this, I pray and I hope you reach your target audience. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. All right. So you guys just saw that video. And so during that review, um, Keith Lee talked about, you know, the young man out there cutting hair and, um, you know, the young lady helping out. And so Keith Lee specifically said that he wanted the young lady to get a tip. He wanted the barber to get a tip. And I think they charged his card like $4,000. And he also said to feed everybody that's coming, you know, behind him, you know, so that way they can get free food because the food is that good. Check this out. So we want to leave a thousand dollars to the barber, so we can cut everybody here for free. We want to leave you a thousand dollars, so we can cut here. We want to leave you a thousand dollars. Yeah. Please, I'm in charge of tax. That's cool. Oh. Thank you so much. I just don't know what to do right now. Oh my God! All right, see the receipt. Oh. Oh my lord, thank you so much. Oh my god, it's so nice to meet you. All right, so you guys just saw that clip of what Keith Lee had to say. So now the young girl that was there helping out, I guess she's also a TikTok influencer as well. And so she was also filming. She has like a pretty decent fan base. And today she went to social media to basically spill the tea on the mama who owns the food truck. 
and she's very upset and this is not a good look for this company okay and this is not a good look for a sweetly seasoned in dallas because ma'am it looks like you're blocking your blessings this girl went on an almost nine minute rant about how the lady basically started charging customers as soon as keith lee went and then um she feels like she doesn't need to pay the girl or the brother even though the girl was there helping out basically this lady has gotten very greedy and so now social media is very divided so this is what she wrote. She wrote, I won't stop until my brother gets his money. Keith Lee said to give it to the barber and I'm gonna post the blessing blockage you did wherever I can. Sweetly season, you owe him. And so this has been posted all over TikTok, all over Twitter. It's trending right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this with you guys. Y'all go ahead and check this out. What's up y'all? I bet you're wondering how we got here. Well, let me tell you. So a lot of y'all know yesterday I got to meet Keith Lee great congratulations i'm still humbled by the experience like i am ecstatic blessings to your family i really appreciate you but now this is where the downfall comes in a lot of y'all was on my live when he said this i see y'all giving out haircuts to your brother. <laughs> little brother, yeah. Yeah. he wants to leave a thousand dollars to the barber so he can cut he, everybody oh that's my little brother he wants to go pick up my baby brother for school we want to leave you a thousand dollars to do it to hair we want to leave you two thousand dollars and granted, everything was cool, right? Me being me and thinking everybody else is going to have the same genuine heart as me, I charged him $4,000 on his car, meaning all the money went to the food truck in hopes that she would do what she needed to do, right? Wrong. So after everything had died down, mind you, on top of him tipping $4,000, this man left an extra $886 to feed everybody else that was coming, right? Right. But this is where she went wrong. I'm in the truck. Mind you, I'm a worker. This is your business, so I'm doing what you say. She tell me after this person, which is a third person, that you got to start charging again. Hmm? Now, it's one thing when he say I'm leaving this for free and for somebody to come and order like one of everything on the menu and try to get both desserts and drinks and shit. Like, yeah, you can put a limit on that. But if this man left you almost a thousand dollars, why the fuck did you stop handing free food out after the third person? Hmm? Make it make sense. So, all right, everything was cool. It was time to close down. You know, my friend done ran to the store. He helping his mom. He coming out of his pocket with his own money. And I looked at her and I was like, so... Keith Lee literally just spent $5,200 with you. She was like, girl, I know. I'm so excited. Like, before I got on here, I was broke. And before y'all come for me talking about don't be releasing no personal information, it got personal when you play with my baby brother. So everything was cool, calm, and collect, right? She told me, she said, look, I just want to let you know it'll be about a day or two before you guys get your money. I work with Square. I've been running my business for the past four years with Square, so I know exactly how it works. But if you've been running this business for years, your money going to clear the next day. Correct? So this morning we got up. Mind you, I'm thinking I got to go back to help her because yesterday you ain't have nobody that wanted to work for you. You get what I'm saying? So my friend had me come and help you and then my brother was really only out there but you somehow trying to make it seem like my brother was giving free haircuts when he was posting flyers with his pr prices on them. Come on. So then I wake up today. People hit me up talking about we want to make your menus. We want to make your flyers. Da, 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 da. My main thing was I'm not the face of this company. You get what I'm saying? I'm not the face of this company, but I can put you in contact. If you go through my comment section, you will definitely see where I'm tagging her business over and over and over because people thought it was my shit. So I hit her this morning was like, Kim, you have workers today? Also, there's a guy who's wanted to do your menu and flyers for you, so I'm sending him your number. Who is this? Sherelle. Yes, I have workers for today and you can send me his info. Thank you. That was it. So I respond back. I will send you his Instagram and did you see if your money cleared? You can keep the money that was left for me, but my brother is preparing to leave and go back home and I'm unsure how he'll get it once he leaves. Granted, all I had to do was send it to her or she could have sent it to him, whatever. She said, please call me back so an agreement can be made. But before we even got to those messages, she called me and she was just like, well, I didn't invite your brother to come out there and cut hair. I didn't invite you. My son invited you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a thousand dollars to my son and he'll give y'all whatever it is he see fit out of there. Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. Now, I did you a solid by saying I get money. When I opened my eyes this morning, I had a deposit for $1,500. You get what I'm saying? And I made money since. So I, I told you to keep my money. But I was more so pressed about the issue of my brother. Keith Lee don't know my brother. My brother don't know Keith Lee. My brother don't know any of y'all out here. But when you gave him the green light to post his flyers after he cut both of your son's head, yes, they paid. He wasn't cutting nobody's hair for free. Who the fuck put that out there? If you cut it hair for free, why are you posting flyers with prices? 
You get what I'm saying? There's a girl on Facebook, hold on, whom I'm assuming is her oldest son's wife, fiance, whoever she is. This is all lies, just like the free cuts were, because people had to pay. Of course they had to pay. The two people here that he cut was both of the owner's sons. So why the fuck would he be giving the owner's sons whose mom is getting visited by Keith Lee free cuts? You get what I'm saying? Because it was never advertised. But then I later found out my friend had said he assumed that he was giving free cut. No, he pulled up to the area because he saw it as an opportunity because we couldn't make it to Jonathan's shop to meet him in time. No one. Y'all didn't hear it on my face. Y'all didn't see it on my platform. Y'all didn't hear it on my brother's mouth say, I'm giving free cuts, pull up to the spot. Do you know how many people would have pulled up? Keith Lee probably was under the assumption. Hell yeah, he didn't even say it. Let's be honest. Keith Lee didn't even say it. Oh, I'm giving you $1,000 because he said, I'm giving you $1,000 so you can go and get free haircuts. But bitch, we couldn't even make it out there to get free haircuts because you tripping over $2,000. Now, the principle of the matter is because I know several of y'all out there thinking like, bro, it's just $1,000, bro. Like, don't you got more money than that? Don't TikTok pay you? Da -da -da -da. TikTok pays me well. YouTube pays me well. Both of my Facebook pages pays me well outside of whatever it is that I do in my real life. You get what I'm saying? The principle of the matter is my brother is from Louisiana. My brother is a self-taught barber. He went and got his license just so he can work in a shop. And when he come out here and he posting up with all of his shit outside and he's saying, yo, I'm selling haircuts. Your sons come down and they sit in there and you're going to sit there and have a nerve to tell me. Keep Lee don't understand. Y'all not even a part of the brand. So I don't feel inclined to give you the money. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck you, bro. Like, I'm not even playing when it comes to this shit, bro. I'm big on integrity. I'm big on doing what's right. I came out there and I helped you for free. I stood in that little bitty ass, hot ass motherfucking food truck to help you because my friend asked me to. And this is the thanks that I get? I couldn't even get a thank you from you at the end of the day, bro. Like, come on. The man walked up and literally said, I seen your life. I seen this live. The wife even said, hey, Sherelle, let me see that cheer. W was nobody on the live? Like, come on. Well, I know y'all was on the live, but come on, bro. You got your kids in the background fighting for you. Like, it ain't even your kids. It's that one lady who didn't even want to get in a food truck with you in the first place. That's how I ended up there. If your kids really gave a fuck, I would have been at home in my bed. I would have been at home in my bed. Keith Lee would have never seen me type shit. I would have still popped out. I ain't even gonna lie because my friend would have told me. But that's besides the point. The sole purpose of this was so you could get the exposure. You get what I'm saying? You wanted the Keith Lee effect. And we did our part to make sure that could happen. And I can't even say to make sure. To, 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 to kind of hope and pray that it would happen. And it did. You know what I'm saying? I'm screenshotting what Keith Lee put on here. Oh, yeah, and beforehand, that was the email I sent to him today because I, I was serious about my integrity. I was serious about the principle of the matter. If this man came all the way out here and he blessed your motherfucking business with his presence and to say, this shit was good as a motherfucker, then the least you can do is get out of the way of somebody else's blessings and honor it after I already told you, you can keep my band. Who the fuck running around here saying, I don't want that thousand dollars, you can have it. Who's doing that? And I came and worked for you for free? For free? But today, all of a sudden, you wake up, you got workers. I wanted to leave you $1,000 for doing braids. Wanted to leave $1,000 to the barber so he can cut everybody's hair for free. By the time Keith Lee left, your motherfucking ass closed the shop down. So the goal was for him to return today, right? But you look my brother dead in his eyes last night when he came to spend money at your establishment and told him, you missed your blessing, but I got the money that Keith Lee gave you. I'm going to give it to you when my money clears. But today you wake up and you sing in a different tune. And we want to tip you $2,000. So at what point of it do you feel like you can play God and step in the way and say, oh, I'm going to block this blessing from this young black man who's trying and do what I want to do? And you think your shit going to prosper? Baby, I'm going to make it my personal mission to see that nobody will see Sweetly Seasoned. You hear me? I don't care if I got to post up on every block that you own and make protest videos. You do understand that a lot of these people wanted to come out and see my face. Do you hear it in the live? Is that true? Is that true? You get what I'm saying? I am the clout, bro. 
I'm the clout. And I'm pissed off and I'm really agitated at the fact that your motherfucking ass sat there two days ago and said how your family treated you, how this person, that person, and that person treated you. And I don't know you from a can of motherfucking paint. And I got up on my bed and I came to help you. And this is the thanks I get. Bitch, I ain't even get a real fucking thank you. And with all due respect, Keith Lee, I did not want to bring you into this shit, but you did your part, so now I got to do mine. The S effect is in full effect, and I'm on your ass, for sure. All right, so you guys just heard what that young lady had to say. So like I said, everybody and their mama's weighing in. Here goes a few more videos of people talking about the situation as well. Talk about blocking your own blessings. So if you watch Keith Lee, you know he's in Dallas on his food tour, right? Y'all know like the way he pick where to go is through people DMing him and tagging him in videos like, hey, cut on my restaurant. A dude makes a video saying cut on his mama food truck, right? Keith responds to video, boom, he pull up, he try the food, and he actually give it a good review. But y'all know when Keith buy the food, he don't never just pay for whatever the food is. He always leave like a multiple thousand dollar tip. This time... The lady, one of her employees for the day was her son's friend who was coming out to help. And that girl brother, he was out there hustling, cutting hair, right? Keith leave a $4,000 tip, four bands, y'all. He tell the lady, keep two bands for yourself, get a girl who help you a band, and get a, uh, the, the man cutting hair a band. Y'all know this lady kept all the bread for herself. Oh, I forgot to say this. Okay, so he also gave her a little bit of extra money to cover the cost of whatever she would lose because he told her to give everybody else free food for the rest of the day and gave her the money to cover it. And she kept all the bread. Like Then she only let three people get free food, waited to keep and his family left, and then charged everybody else. The girl who was supposed to get the band, she made content on here too. So she made a video talk about the whole thing. And in that video, she had a screenshot to her reaching out to the lady who owned the food truck, who kept the $4,000 and asking her at least give my brother his money like you could keep my money at least give my brother his money this lady said i give my son a thousand dollars and he can distribute it however he pleases he the one that told keith to even come there in the first place and his comments is off that ain't never a good sign i'ma tag the girl who's supposed to get the band she made a video about the whole thing breaking it down it was like 10 minutes you can go watch it but y'all want to know the craziest part about all of this to me the number associated with that business in the food truck is a Milwaukee area code. Y'all just had to be from the city. Oh, hi, I am scared of y'all because accepting money from one of God's disciples and then not doing with said money what God's disciple told you to do with the money is nasty work. Didn't Nelly noted in his video while he was in the car waiting on his food that while it's just a food truck, everything around it gives an atmosphere, gives a vibe. They outside cutting hair, they outside braiding hair. It's a vibe. After Keith Lee eats his food, rates it in the car, he goes to meet the owner and this is where things get tricky. Keith Lee goes, pulls up on him and you know how it be when Keith Lee pull up. It gets very much publishers clearing house and we're all screaming and all of that. And Keith Lee says, so we wanted to leave you a thousand dollars to the barber so he can cut everybody's hair for free. We wanted to leave you a thousand dollars for doing braids. Before we go any further, I do want to make it clear that neither Sherelle nor her brother, Sherelle's the person doing braids, the brother is the person cutting hair, work for the lady. They're just out there to help make it an event, help get people there, okay? All the mama does is own the truck and cook the food. And we want to tip you $2,000, making it a total of $4,000, okay? $1,000 to the barber, $1,000 to the braider, and $2,000 to the food truck. Guess what happened? <laughs> the, the mom didn't tip Sherelle and the brothers. Sherelle put up and she was like, listen, you can keep my thousand, but give my brother his thousand dollars. Which long story short, the mama was like, I ain't gonna be able to do that. So what did Sherelle do? She did what needed to be done, baby. She emailed Keith Lee. All right, so you guys just saw that video. Another thing that's sad is that I see some people saying that this is why Keith Lee shouldn't help black businesses. Black businesses don't appreciate stuff. What we're not going to do, we're not gonna do that on the first day of Black History Month. We're not going to tell Keith Lee to stop supporting black businesses. That's what we're not going to do. Just because one black business decided to be greedy and not follow, you know what I'm saying, what Keith Lee said and basically block her own blessings, we're not going to block the blessings of others. That's what we're not going to do, sir, okay? But my issue is this. Now, regardless of if the barber came there, quote-unquote, clout chasing, because some people are saying that, or if he was actually there charging for haircuts or he was just trying to be attached to something. The thing is, Keith Lee may have not known the backstory, but he clearly said in the video how he wanted the money distributed. There was no confusion to that. So for her integrity all of a sudden to go out the wayside and start charging customers and to not want to pay the young man. And the girl even said, keep my thousand dollars. It's cool. Keep my thousand dollars. You obviously need it more than I do. 
and the lady was still being greedy saying that she's gonna give the thousand dollars to her son and then her son can decide on what he wants to do which is bs she's trying to place it on her son when really she doesn't want to give up that money it's really sad because the business owner is claiming that the barber and the braider were only there to meet Keith Lee and they were not giving away free services, which means that they were not here to help her business. But regardless of that situation, he asks that they be compensated too. And if he wants to compensate other people on in the vicinity, he has a right to do that. It could have been a homeless person sitting right there. It could have been, you know, a, a corporate CEO. That was Keith Lee's money and he wanted it distributed a certain way. So for her to try and renege is just really sad. And, you know, all this shows is greed. At the end of the day, you're literally blocking your blessings. You know, this man brought so much attention to your food truck. People came in droves to your food truck. And now that this story is coming out on how you try to play them and be greedy and keep all the money to yourself, that's going to affect your business even more. Even if you felt the way and you felt like, oh, well, they're kind of riding off of your success. So what? So what? Somebody came and blessed you. So what you do in return to, to be able to keep that blessing is to turn around and bless somebody else. It does not hurt you to look out for someone else. Obviously, they're struggling too. Everybody's out here struggling, trying to make ends meet. So you received a big blessing in Keith Lee. So turn around and share that with somebody else. It just sucks that she wanted to be greedy and keep all the money to herself when she didn't have to. So anyways, y'all, I want to hear y'all's opinions on this entire situation. The story is crazy, but like I said, it is viral right now. It's going on all over social media. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Please hit the video with a like. Don't forget to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.